Another image this evening making headlines that coach under fire and now under arrest. After the mounting number of accusers, we ask here, what was it today that sent law enforcement in swiftly, arresting former Penn State coach Jerry Sandusky? This as we learned the latest alleged victim says Sandusky's wife was upstairs as he cried for help. ABC's Jim Avila is on this difficult case again tonight. Jerry Sandusky back in cuffs, wearing a Penn State tracksuit taken from his home in the middle of the afternoon and today charged with abusing two more children. His attorney predicted new charges and custody on World News. Bail's going to be set and he's going to wind up in jail. Sandusky's attorney walked straight into that courtroom and told his client, I told you this would happen. And Sandusky just smiled. The smile wiped from his face as prosecutors demanded a million dollar bail and revealed the stories of more victims, numbers 9 and 10. Horrific accounts of a Sandusky basement of horrors at the former defensive coach's ranch-style house in State College, Pennsylvania. A place victim number nine told grand jurors Sandusky specifically told him to stay, unless otherwise directed by Sandusky. He ate meals in the basement, and the food would be brought to him by Sandusky. And new details about his wife and where she was when this was allegedly happening just down the stairs. Victim number nine was 10 to 12 years old during the alleged attacks and told the grand jury he saw Sandusky's wife Dottie at the house, but she never came downstairs. And on at least one occasion, he screamed for help, knowing that Sandusky's wife was upstairs, but no one came to help him. Jerry's scratching his head saying, what's, what's next? I said, don't ask that question. You know, don't don't ask, can it get worse? Because it can't. What's next for Sandusky? An overnight stay in jail. This is his booking photo. And if he can raise $250,000 in bail, electronic monitoring with an order to stay away from the Penn State campus. Now Sandusky's attorney says he expects to make bail tomorrow, but he will be back in court Tuesday for the preliminary hearing in this case where he will hear from the alleged victims face to face. Only their names will be protected. All right, Jim Avila on this again tonight, Jim. Thank you.